This presentation is to introduce some of the new features of Lucis version 17, and it's intended for viewers who are already familiar with the general capabilities of Lucis. We're working to simplify the generation, checking and modifying of your structural models, working to help you collaborate through the creation phase, through to reporting, and continuing to expand our design code facilities. At the same time, we continue to add to the advanced analysis capabilities for which Lucis has been known for so many years. There are new tools for everyone, but most of them have a pretty strong connection to one of these three areas, to design, or more generally design code facilities, to pre-stress or post-tension structures, or soils. Starting with design then, we're continuing to expand the global reach of our design code facilities. New in version 16 was the steelwork designer, covering the Eurocode building part, Ashdo, the Canadian Bridge Code and the Australian AS4100 and giving both the overview and providing transparent blow-by-blow -blow calculations. Version 17 adds EN 1993 Part 2, the bridge part, complementing the slab designer with its broad international coverage and the optional Eurocode steel and composite bridge designer. The Traffic Load Optimizer already covers the Eurocode with national annexes including the UK, Ireland, Italy, Poland, Sweden and Denmark. To that, version 17 adds Norway and Finland. It already covers Canada and Ashto, including more than 40 state-specific implementations, China, Australia, New Zealand and Saudi Arabia, with assessment or rating codes for the UK, Australia and Sweden, the NATO Stanag military vehicle convoys. We add to that the tricky BD2101 annexes D and E, which include convoys of vehicles with variable spacing and fire engines. It's giving us a comprehensive array of facilities for the UK assessment market. New section libraries for India and New Zealand have been added, along with a handy new section property calculator to handle riveted and welded steel sections. But moving on to post-tensioning, well, here's a balanced cantilever bridge, stage construction, with tendons activated step by step. All the time-dependent losses are recalculated for every part of the length of every tendon, in every stage, and beyond, for the design life of the structure. In fact, I should say all post-installation losses, because that includes elastic shortening as well as creep, shrinkage and relaxation, based on the code of practice you're using. Now, if you know Lucis version 16, you may say there's nothing new, but there is. First, you're looking at a shell model. You can now assign tendons directly to surfaces or volumes, as well as lines. And the pre-stress functions and loss calculations work just the same, whether your model is of beams, shells or solid continuum, and equally in 2D as well as 3D. Second, we've added the Ashdo and Indian IRC112 creep and shrinkage material models to ensure you get deformations true to the code. And for Eurocode users, there are new options covering high strength concrete, it's greater than 50 megapascals, to the rules of EN 1992 part two. Together with other improvements for stage construction, which came in version 16, the ability to differentiate prefabricated and closing parts, to control constraints and carry out cable tuning stage by stage, it's a flexible system where you can adopt a more advanced modeling approach to get you closer to reality. Third, but perhaps most important, we've made it a whole lot easier to set up and check this kind of model. We've embedded the tendon loading right into the usual loading facilities. Instead of using an unfamiliar wizard, it's a simple case of defining and assigning attributes, a process completely familiar to anyone who's used Lucis for a couple of hours or more. The tendon loading is defined with a profile shape and codified properties, and can be assigned by dragging and dropping. But it's not just that drag and drop simplicity. We like to drag and drop, of course, as we develop our models, but sometimes you're just crying out for the overview. You want to see a bunch of assignments in a grid so you can spot the odd one out. Check the overall pattern, copy and paste to or from Excel. So that's what we've added, not just for pre-stress users, for everyone. For anything assigned, you can view and modify in a spreadsheet style the assignment data. For example, what load is applied? Where is it applied? Which load cases does it appear in? Any load factors? 
This grid makes it easier to spot mistakes and put them right. It's also possible up on the top right to modify the data for all assignments in one go. For example, to change the load factors for all these load assignments to a single value across the board. And it's not just the assignment. You can view and modify many attribute definitions in this same grid format. This can also be something of a collaboration tool. People preparing model data which can be pasted in at a convenient moment. Although, if you want to draw information together in a slightly more elegant way, there are the various Lucis import, merge model and BIM functions as well. Simplifying things enormously for the geotechnical user is the new K0 initialization. Setting up initial stresses in 2D or 3D models where the soil is represented as a continuum, perhaps using one of the more advanced nonlinear materials. Speaking of which, we've added the Duncan Chang material model to extend the range of our available soil materials. Another tool to make things more productive is well, you may have material data versus depth from boreholes or penetration tests, but that's only at specific locations. So you can now simply enter that data and have Lucis interpolate between the borehole locations. And we're working on more geotechnical material models and facilities for future releases. Meantime, for the structure sat on a par cap, where it's not necessary to model the ground explicitly, you can now use a single spring with matrix properties to represent the whole foundation system. An efficient and effective little tool to help with that common situation. We hope you'll enjoy exploring version 17, and as you do, you'll probably find other little tweaks that, like many of the improvements we've been describing, were often suggested by you, the users. For example, try right-clicking to look at the properties of points, lines, surfaces or volumes. There's a new properties box. And yes, you can view and edit assignments in that properties box even when you have several objects selected at the same time. Small improvements and bigger new facilities making Lucis more productive, more global and even better suited for your advanced analysis needs. Lucis version 17.